In this second pattern video, we're going to use the same toothpicks, but this time we're going to start with just three toothpicks for our figure one, and we're going to carry this, add some toothpicks here to create figure two. So the entire section is now figure two. The first three, figure one, this is figure two, and finally add some toothpicks and this entire figure is figure three. So in a sentence, write down the pattern that you see from this particular video. In our second video, we had looked at a pattern where we began with three toothpicks in figure one and then we added on another three toothpicks in figure two and so forth. So if we let this column represent the figure number and if we let the right side represent the number of toothpicks we can try to identify if there is a pattern. So for figure one, we note one, two, three toothpicks. For figure two, we note one, two, three, four, five, six toothpicks. And for figure three, we note that there's going to be three, six, nine toothpicks. And we can see that there is a pattern where we increase by three toothpicks for every figure we increase by. So our sentence would be, as the figure number increases by one, the number of toothpicks increases by three. Now as an extension to challenge you a little bit, since we see this pattern, and assuming the pattern continues to add three toothpicks every additional figure number, how many toothpicks would there be in figure 20? Take a moment and pause the video to see if you can determine how many toothpicks there would be for figure number 20, and I will give you the answer when you come back. For your answer, you'll notice that since we had three toothpicks to start and we increased by three toothpicks each time, a way we can jump to an answer without actually having to lay out the toothpicks or actually having to add three each and every time, we can actually use a little bit of our prior knowledge. Since there's three toothpicks for every figure number, it would make sense that I could take my figure number and multiply by 3 to get my result. And you'll notice it works in each of these cases on the screen. So to answer the question, if we're talking about figure number 20, 
we should be able to multiply that by three toothpicks for each of the 20 figures and we will end up with 60 toothpicks.